Hello and welcome. This is Varun, Technical Advisor, Design and Prototyping and Educational Consultant for Tutomash.com. In this session, we'll be discussing about basic data entry methods in AutoCAD. There are several ways to enter the data in AutoCAD. The data entry methods are divided into two, that is basic data entry methods and advanced data entry methods. Here in this session, we are discussing on basic data entry methods. There are three types of basic data entry methods. They are absolute data entry method, relative data entry method, and polar data entry method. We will be discussing about advanced data entry methods in the upcoming videos. First of all, we have the absolute data entry method. Absolute data entry method is the basic form of entering the data in AutoCAD. It is same as of marking the coordinates as we do in the graph method. The basic format for absolute data entry method is x, y, where x is the x coordinate from the origin and y is the y coordinate from the origin. As the example is given here, the origin is 0, 0. From there, we plot the point 1, 1 to get A. Similarly, we plot 2, 2 to get the point B and so on. So when you draw a line, you can give the starting point as 1, 1, then 2, 2, then 2, 3 and so on. So like this, you can complete your design. This is known as absolute data entry method. The next one is relative data entry methods. In relative data entry method, the relative point keeps changing. That means in this method, you have to measure the coordinate from the previous point. For example, from the origin, we plot 1, 1 to get A and from A, we again plot another 1, 1 to get B and from B, we plot again 0, 1 to get C and so on. So that means the relative point keeps on changing in each situations. This is known as relative data entry method and its data entry format is at the rate X, Y where x is the x coordinate from the previous point and y is the y coordinate from the previous point. The last one is polar data entry method. Polar data entry method is very easy and simple where you have to input the length of the object and the angle. Or you can say that we have to input the distance and the angle. Let us see this example in much more detail in AutoCAD. Consider the same example here. I have already marked the points to understand these methods in much more detail. Before starting the data entry, let me check the grid setting. To take the grid setting, you can come here, click this option and go for snap setting. Here you can find the grid x spacing that is 1 and y spacing that is also 1. So that means if this is 0, 0, this point becomes 1, 1. We know that because x spacing is 1 and y spacing is also 1 and so on. I have unchecked this option of display beyond limits because I just want the grid to be shown inside a limit and press OK. The first method that is the absolute data entry method. As we know that in the absolute data entry method, all the coordinates are marked from the origin. That is the relative point is fixed at the origin. Or we can say that it is the basic or the common way of data entry we have been using from years. So let me draw the figure that is line and press enter. So it is asking for the first point. So I will mark the first point as 1, 1. It is in the format of x, y and press enter. So now you can see the line exactly start from that point that is 1, 1. I will specify the next point as 2, 2 to get the b as the point. So this becomes 2, 2 here. Let me remind you this 2, 2 is measured from the origin that is 0, 0. That is x is equal to 1, 2 and y is equal to 1, 2. So the coordinate becomes 2, 2. Similarly, let me continue. The coordinate for the next point is 2, 3 and press enter. And the coordinate for the next point is 3, 3 and press enter. So now it's easy for you and you can directly say that the next coordinate is 3, 1 and press enter. And let me press C to close the line and become the figure. So this is the shape that we designed with the help of absolute data entry method. So let me delete all these lines and draw it again with the help of relative data entry method. As you know that in relative data entry method, the relative point keeps on changing. That is, the starting will be 0, 0 and it keeps on changing with the previous value. So let's start with the designing. 
The command is line that is L and press enter. For the relative method, the input format is at the rate 1 comma 1 and press enter. So now you can see it's directly start from 1 comma 1 because the previous point was 0 comma 0. Now consider this point as the relative point. If this is the relative point, you can find the coordinate for this point. That is x distance is 1 and y distance is also 1. So you can type it as at the rate 1 comma 1 again to get the point. Let's do the next one again. Consider this as the relative point. Then x distance becomes 0 and y distance becomes 1 to get the next point that is the c. So you can type the value as at the rate 0 comma 1 and press enter. Similarly, the next point that is x distance is 1 and y distance is 0. So you can type it as at the rate 1 comma 0 and press enter. And the next point is x distance is 0 and y distance is minus 2. So you can type it as at the rate 0 comma minus 2 and press enter. And the last one is C and press enter to close the line. So the next method that we have to learn is the polar method. So as usual, let me start the line from 1 comma 1 with the absolute method and now continue with the polar method. In the polar method, we know that we have to give the length of the line and the angle. So the length of the line here is 1.4142. So I will type at the rate 1.4142, correct, at an angle 45 degree. So the first x is the length or the distance and the next y is the angle. So after inputting this, let me press enter. So now you can see the line finishes at B. Similarly, continue with the process. So the next one is the line towards C. So that means this length is 1 at an angle 90 degree. So you can type at the rate 1 angle 90 and press enter. And the next one is at the rate the distance is 1 at an angle 0 degree. The next one is at the rate this distance is 2 at an angle minus 90 degree and press enter. And let me close the line by pressing C. With this you have finished your design with the help of polar method. So sometimes while designing many complex structures you may have to use all these three methods together. Basically this absolute and relative method is mostly used to plot the coordinates while designing civil structures. It is also used to map the coordinates of the roads or area of land. So that's the end of this session and we hope you understood well. Keep posting your queries and feedback and for more videos log on to www.twittermash.com. Thank you.